What's up guys, The Panthers here and welcome to another episode of my Rise to Fame Ultimate Team Series. Uh, just gonna start off by saying guys, I am suffering. My head feels like it's about to explode and I will explain why in the, uh, in the very near future. Um, but for right now guys, uh, for those of you that are wondering what happened to a video yesterday, I made a mistake with the footage that I put up. And for those of you that saw the video yesterday, for the sort of five or six hundred people that would have managed to see it, um, congratulations, uh, you managed to listen to what I talked about. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to talk about that again today because obviously the subject is still relevant. Um, but basically what happened, guys, is when I make videos, I have several folders on my computer and I have a like a massive rotation system. And when I, when I complete a video, uh, that as soon as I upload it to YouTube, all the files get cleared away and stored uh, and the file system rotates and then that file goes to the back of the pile so the next video is in the next slot. Um, it, it makes no sense to hear it like that but for me to, if it, like if I were to show you how it works you'd be like, oh yeah, that, that's actually really a, a good system. Um, but you know, the, just the way it worked last time for some reason I didn't move the file to the back so I just put the same clips in again and it, it seems crazy to think that I wouldn't notice myself that hey I didn't uh, I did this yesterday but you know sometimes it just looks all the same and sometimes I, I'm, I'm quite a bit ahead of where you're seeing now so um, like I could you know I, like I could watch this footage again tomorrow and not even realize it was the same footage because I'm quite far ahead like I say it's, it's real hard for me to remember what happened and I don't really watch the gameplay too much when I do the commentaries uh, only from time to time I'll look at it um, like for this game for example I couldn't really tell you what just happened I haven't really watched it <laughs> um, but yeah guys so what I talked about a couple of things I talked about in yesterday's video that you guys didn't see that I'm going to talk about now and the first one is uh, I'm having problems with EA Sports uh, to the sense that, I th God damn, I'm confusing the shit out of myself. I'm not even going to talk about that because I'm going to have to watch my video back. I'm not sure if I talked about that in yesterday's video that I had to delete or the day before's video and my head is going mental. But this guy has got a, an amazing team, guys. Absolutely amazing team. Um, so the reason why my head's exploding, I actually... For those of you that are new subscribers, you probably won't know about this, but for those of you that have been with me since probably around like 17 to 20,000 subs, you would have heard me talk about this before. Um, up until Sunday just gone, I used to drink copious amounts of Dr. Pepper. Like, I'm talking two to four liters a day, more than likely. Most days, probably one or two liters. Um, certain days, two to four liters, you know, and it's it's super, super unhealthy. It's really, really bad for me. Um, and you literally you become addicted to it, but you don't actually become addicted to Dr. Pepper necessarily or to fizzy drinks or to soft drinks. You become addicted to the caffeine. Um, so I've given up, like I'm getting into not an unhealthy state exactly, but into a position where like I, I train hard, like I, I usually go to the gym three or four times a week. That's a super, super shot there from Busafa as well. <laughs> into Rose Ed that one went. Um, yeah, I usually train three or four times a week. I drink plenty of water. I eat relatively well. I have a high metabolism, you know. Um, but just recently, like a lot of things have been going on in my life, like business-wise and YouTube things and just other things here and there. So I've only been training probably like once a week or twice a week. Um, and I've been eating like fast food a lot and just eating generally really unhealthy. So I've got in like the worst shape since I was probably around 20, 21 years old when I first started training, like hitting the gym properly. Um, and it's it's just not a nice sight, you know, like I'm not, like I say, I'm not unhealthy. I'm not in bad shape necessarily, just the worst shape that I've been in for a long time, you know. So I, I, I wanted to make a conscious effort to change that. I wanted to make a conscious effort to, to completely switch up my diet and eat healthy, drink healthy and stuff. And one of the biggest factors for me is the Dr. Pepper, the amount of sugar it's in it. The amount of calories that's in it, you know, it it's literally amazing that I'm not obese. And I, I say that, like, wholeheartedly. Like, you ask some of my friends, you ask El De Niro 90 uh, just how much I put away. Like, you know, we talk on Skype all the time, we play games together. I'm always eating shit, chocolates, crisps, sweets, drinking Dr. Pepper. 
and I'm still, you know, for my height, I'm an average size, you know, I'm like, I weigh about 12 and a half, 13 stone, and I'm 5 foot 11, that's pretty much normal, as normal as you can get, really, um, so, you know, I, it, it's not really bad in that sense, but it, it, it's just crazy how I'm not fucking massive, like, genuinely, seriously, massively obese, um, but so what what I've basically done guys is I've stopped drinking Dr Pepper. Uh, in Dr Pepper there is a high amount of caffeine and caffeine is essentially a drug. Um, you do get addicted to it and you do have withdrawal symptoms from it and I'm um, like one of the most common and most painful withdrawal symptoms from caffeine is uh, mind-blowing headaches. Now I've been reading a lot of, uh, on the internet a lot about them and they can last from anywhere up to three to ten days and then once they, you know, once they stop, your body's kind of rid of the the caffeine addiction, and you'll be okay. Um, as you're listening to this, this I'll be in my fifth day. Um, this is the cup final as well, by the way, guys, which I won there. Hernandez scoring a fourth goal, that's amazing. Um, and the nice 1900 coins comes to me. Um, but yeah, as you're listening to this, this is currently the fifth day. That I've not had any Dr Pepper, any sweets, any chocolate. I've I've not eaten any fatty foods. I've been eating salads and uh, soups and like just like rolls with ham and cheese in and just like pretty much as healthy as it comes um, for the last five days. Um, and it's tough. Like I'm not even gonna lie, it's real tough. And it it just gets to points in the day where the headaches become so bad that my eyes like literally just start watering. Um, well, like I, you know, I'm not crying, but I may as well be because they just start streaming with water because the 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 pain is so bad. Um, that that's a weird glitch on the card as well. There, the Beckham as a goalkeeper, that was pretty weird. It actually it was actually Javinho when I bought the uh, when I bought the card. It did turn out to be Javinho. So um, I was a bit gutted really, but I'm I'm massing a, a pretty serious team now. Like we've got you know higher rated players and stuff. We've got Javinho, uh, Nani, um, Sen. Um, David Luiz as we bought there, uh, you know, it's uh, Patrice Evra, Joe Hart, we're, we're putting together a really, really good Premiership team now. Um, this is the last game of the, uh, of the, of the, of the episode, there we go, um, and just some nice goals for you to enjoy here. This guy's got an amazing team, uh, but it was a pretty solid game, pretty good game both ways. Um, but yeah guys, so, I don't know, for, for those, I guess, uh, what I want to ask, I always kind of put this to you guys in the comment section and stuff um have you have you ever gone gone through something like this have you guys ever had been addicted to something and then had to give it up like you know maybe crisps or something or sweets or chocolates or a certain type of food because people become allergic to certain types of foods um this is a superb goal from hernandez as well look at that beauty um, yeah, so put in your comment sections anything you've had problems with and stuff and it'll be interesting for me to read it and uh, if I get any like awesome responses of people changing their lives and stuff then uh, I'll definitely read them out in uh, the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. As always guys, if you could hit that like button it would mean a massive, massive amount to me. Um, apologies there was no video for yesterday other than you know the, the few hundred that would have got to watch it. Uh, hit that favourite button, that would be amazing. And uh, I'm just going to leave you with the next two goals and then I'm going to be gone. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers. You can't help but think that the referee played a part in that result. Goals change games, but so do red cards. Certain inevitability about that, really. Yeah, I think so, Clive. When you have more players, inevitably you have more of the players.